Yeah, we've came back and they've smashed our van and it's been completely ransacked. They came back uh, here. Like where I am right now talking to you, someone was up here like going through our stuff and they stole everything of value to us. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. If you're new around here, I am Philly, this is Keely, and this is our van Martha. Uh, and today's video is gonna be a little bit of a strange one. Yeah, this was meant to be our final video in our 10 month trip from UK all the way to Turkey back through Europe. But unfortunately, instead of a beautiful cinematic Spanish vlog where my sister flew out to meet us and we we're gonna have an awesome trip, instead, it's a video about us getting robbed. Even though a lot of our footage was stolen, we still had our GoPro and we tried to capture this as best we could. Yeah, it gets a bit emotional, I'm not gonna lie. I do cry, I do throw out an F-bomb, so if there's any kids watching, cover your ears. Explicit, explicit content. <laughs> but that's just the reality of how we felt, guys. We just wanted to bring you in on that and be truthful about it. And there was meant to be CCTV cameras where we were, but apparently there wasn't. We have now installed one. We've installed our own. Yeah, somewhere back here. We might even start a new channel called Only Vans. <laughs> you can watch Keely sleep. Oh my goodness. But anyway, we're going to make a security video about that, so stay tuned for that coming up soon. But right now, let's get stuck into probably the toughest week we've had in van life. Let's do it. Oh yeah! Good morning. Good morning, team. So we left you guys yesterday, just picked those guys up from the airport and we just hung out and chilled out, caught up. So those guys are staying inside the apartment. We're outside chilling in our baby Martha. No, we could stay in the apartment, but That's it right. means that the van's secure because realistically, the time that you're most likely to get broke into is going to be like at night. You right, Camper? Just a bit of a steep one. Just a bit. We're almost there. Just so, yeah. be careful. <sighs> How you feeling, Kaylee? We made it to the first crag. Yeah, I'm good. This is beautiful. Mm -hmm. We got this. I've got all my clippies. Yeah, this is significantly, significantly harder than the two we just did. After an absolutely epic day at the crag, we're about to make our way back down to the van, but we had no idea what was about to meet us. Yeah, we've came back and they've smashed our van and it's been completely ransacked. Have they taken our passports? So they seem to have went through everything, all our electronics, they've opened our camera bags. Uh, the good thing is our laptops for, for the first time in eight months weren't in the van. Like for the first time in 10 months, our hard drive isn't in the van, so they haven't got old footage. They went through, my pants are out. Like they've opened up our packing cubes and everything. They've went through everything. Camera's gone, old camera's gone. Yeah, any cash that we had in the drawer is gone. Do we call our insurance or anything? Do we have contents insurance for yeah, our... we should have contents insurance. We're filing a police report, we're calling our insurance. I just need to get my phone on charge. Okay, gracias, adios. Well? So, um... I called 112 and 
told her all the info that we've been broken into, that they've stolen a lot of stuff, that this is our home, etc. So she's passing all of that information on to the police and told us just to wait here. So, yeah. I'm actually in shock. We have managed to go nearly a year with no problems traveling around. But, I mean, it's shit. They took a lot of money and stuff as well. But at least our laptops weren't in there. Like, that's... They've took our new camera, they've took our new microphone, they've took weird stuff. They took our new camera. Oh dear. Keely's on the phone to the insurance now. Not really the thing that you want to film, but I don't know. I feel like it's important to show that shit happens, you know? It's not very nice. That Knowing someone's been in your home. <sighs> uh, I'm home insurance with you guys, and we've just got broken into and come back. So I don't know how I go about like starting a claim or whatever. Billy, you need to say the insurance is okay to talk to me. So we're waiting on the police. Uh, I'm just talking to insurance now because, like we said, they've taken a lot of stuff from our van. They've smashed our window. I honestly don't. <laughs> I'm in shock, so I don't really know. I don't know guys. Um, you know, if you guys feel any sympathy or love for us or have ever enjoyed any of our videos, feel free to talk to us in the comments, like this video, <laughs> subscribe, <laughs> that would be really good. Police are here. They came uh, here. So the police are here, and we have to follow them. Look at stuff, guys. Look, we find our passports. They were in amongst the strewn documents on the floor. Could be worse. At least we're both safe. The van is safe. The van was here. All our like, yeah. It's just it's just stuff, and you know, stuff can be replaced. It could have been a lot worse. Could have been a lot worse. I'm not sure what I've said to you guys because it's all a bit of a blur. But uh, we're back at my parents' apartment now. So we're basically going to start putting the van back together. We had a big mad list of stuff that's been stolen. The thing I'm most absolutely devastated about is the camera. I'm kind of hoping that I'm going to magically find it in this pile of clothes that they've left strewn on the bed. But we already know we're not. Philly is in the front, taping up the hole. Not having my Mary all the time, are we? No. So, while he tapes up that hole, I'm going to put away our stuff. I mean, who does this? Look. Pants. Pants. I mean, you can't see it now, but they they went through everything. All our, like, everything. Everything. You know, they pulled out, like, board games and checked in them as if we had secret worlds of cash in our board games or something. Like, you know. Matt is such a violation. It's such a violation. It's pretty hard to film this, I'm not going to lie. Yeah, man, it really sucks. Really sucks that someone came in here. Like, someone... was up in this bed, like, where I am right now talking to you. Someone was up here, like, going through our stuff when they stole everything of value to us. Like, who were you? You know, like... If you know someone in Spain who randomly robs people at Climbing Crags in Redavan, like, friggin' shame them, okay? Send them this video. This is our home, man. You stole our stuff. You know, I just keep being like, oh, there must be in hard times. People only rob people if they're desperate, you know? I really hope you're bloody desperate. I really hope it was worth it to really hope it made you feel better about yourself.
I'm I'm a little broken. I'm a little broken. I'm a little fucking broken. I'm a daddy. I'm a daddy. I didn't pack very well there. I just kind of shoved stuff away. I realized pretty quickly I didn't have the mental capacity to organize my clothes and pack it neatly into packing cubes after they've been strewn over the floor by criminals. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> not in a good mood right now. I'm not in a bad mood. I'm in a really sad mood. Sad. So this is how we slept last night. This was our makeshift window. I haven't bothered cleaning the glass up yet. We're just gonna go to a glass repair place. Thankfully, you know, it's a small window and these vans are pretty common. All right, so we went to this place that was just around the corner and it's proper legit. So it costs 99 euros, that's for everything. And he says bring it back this afternoon and it'll probably take maybe an hour or two. Okay, so at least we can get the van secured today. So now I keep stalking the websites for a few hours. I know we're living in cloud cuckoo land. I know when stuff gets stolen, people don't really get it back. But there's a chance. But we can keep trying. <laughs> so we just left the van uh, in to get fixed. Um, I spoke to insurance and to claim off glass, it's a 90 pound fee to claim. And it's only costing us 90 pound to fix. So it's completely bloody pointless. Two hours later. So the window's in, our baby is secure. We're 99 years later. He said to leave the tape in overnight and take it out tomorrow, so that's cool. It's a fancy looking window. <laughs> Brand spanking. That's very spanking, isn't it? <laughs> they cleaned it. They cleaned the glass. I think they've spread this with like soapy stuff. Like I think they've cleaned this van a wee bit. It's the window. We've got a little air fresher. That's why the van smells so good. Thanks, Vega Glass. Okay, onwards driver. Good morning folks. We're back at the scene of the crime where our van got broken into on this busy road. Anyway, we're here <laughs> because we've decided that we're going to try. We're going to try and convince the thief to return our camera to us. I mean, it's not going to work. But I feel like we should at least try. I feel like we're not doing enough, you know? It's like, I, I don't know what we can do to try and get our camera back. So this is a random ditched attempt at doing something to at least feel like we're trying to get it back, you know? I literally know nothing's gonna come of it, guys. I know it isn't, but I feel I have to try, you know? 99.9999999999999. You know, reoccurring that nothing's gonna come of this, but you know, for that 0.001%. Yeah. All right. So it's been a few days. We kind of haven't really filmed anything. We just kind of um, adjusting to you know what happened, but. You know, we're feeling a lot more positive today. We want to just embrace life and still enjoy doing what we're doing. So we are currently at a crag in Mercia and we're going to climb today. We're going to climb so hard. I can't wait. It's going to be awesome. We still have these guys with us. Oi, oi. Oi, oi. Oi, 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 oi. Feeling positive today? Si, senor. Mucho so, positive. Somebody is. Look at this one. I think she's deluged. Deluged? Deluged. I'm um, deluged. Do you know what? We actually got a good night's sleep last night. The last three nights we've not really slept at all since the van got broken uh -huh. too, but last night we actually slept okay. Yeah, yeah. I think we're in better spirits now. Or we're all just so tired. <laughs> <laughs> we're all just deluged. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, let's go climb. Whoop. Whoop, whoop. We're at the crag. We're at the quag. I'm gonna do some sick climbs here. 
We're just gonna warm up in this 28 meter. <laughs> just a wee casual warm up, eh? Mr. Emerson, how you feeling? How you feeling? Feeling good, feeling good. I put my myself a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I just climbed up this like chimney crack and it was legitimately the scariest thing that I've ever done. Like the holes and everything were good. It was just like really strange because I've never done anything like this before. Because mm -hmm. you can kind of like compress against each side. But because it's inside, it feels cold and damp. So yeah, it's, it's a little bit scary. But I did it. Yay. Ooh. You ready? No. <laughs> <laughs> the next victim. I am ready. I am so ready for this. You got I this. I am so ready to get to like clip to you and cry. <laughs> That's one hairy crack. <laughs> <sighs> yes, I touched it. See? <sighs> Bring me the <gasps> down, please. Is anybody? Pictures. Muchos photographies. We're in good spirits today. Yeah, we are. We just put out the video and everyone's putting really nice comments on it and stuff. So we're in a good mood and grateful for everybody. Yeah, mucho apreciado. Excelentes español, señor. <laughs> So as you guys seen, um, we've been in this apartment because my sister had came and my parents have an apartment in Spain and this is where they were based. So even though we've dropped them off now, there is a lot of stuff in this apartment because we basically put everything of worth in the van inside the apartment because we were afraid that lightning might strike twice. So now that we've dropped them off at the airport, it's time for us to repack the van and try and get back on track, you know? Back on the road. I'm shutting. Did you bring a key? Ha ha ha. Let's lock up. I feel like leaving this time, we're kind of committed that, you know, our stuff is gone. Yeah. And I know our stuff is gone. This is just like the... The nail in the coffin. Yeah, yeah. We're going to go check out the area that broke into us one last time. I mean, I don't know what we're expecting to see. I'm kind of like, maybe someone's running around wearing your coat and then we'll know it's him. So we'll go scout out the area one last time and then that's it, yeah. Stuff's gone. Hi, partner. Rat partner. We got this, you know. We got it. When life gives us lemons, what do we do? We make really bitter lemonade. <laughs> Extremely bitter lemonade. <laughs> but you know, we're gonna drink that lemonade and we're gonna enjoy it. <laughs> Oh, that's the road path. I'm excited. Me too. You know, like, yeah, this is, it actually feels like the start of a new chapter now. It really does, doesn't you know? it? Well, I don't know about you, but I'm feeling a little bit apprehensive, but. I'm just, feeling apprehensive, yeah. Yeah. But we're just gonna keep on trucking and see what happens. Uh, I've got a random question. Sorry, this is a complete massive segue based on what I can see out of the corner of my eye. Um, do people know that these here exist? Air fresheners are the bomb. I need to know down in the comments, do you use air fresheners? Because I just thought they were like a farce, right? But I've realized that's because when my dad had an air fresher in his car, it was probably about 17 years old. This thing, it's so fresh. Would you, would you buy a personalized air freshener? I'd make those. Are you looking to do some I'll, merch? I'll, I'll put our faces on air fresheners for you. Are you looking to do some merch? We could replicate the smell of my armpits. No, nobody wants those? that. No one. Or we could replicate the smell of your morning breath. 
But you could just do ass because they're Why? quite similar. Oh, you're such a jerk. <laughs> such a jerk. Hit that road, flipping heck. Hit that road. Back to the scene of the crime. Our sign is still up. So, not that it's going to amount to anything, but, you know, anything is worth a try. Anywho, now we're going to go stalk the town just in case anyone's out in Philly's coat because it is raining, so maybe they're out in the bay. So we're off in the hunt, but realistically, we're just off up north. Unfortunately, haven't seen anyone out in the bite in Philly's coat. Haven't seen any <laughs> pawn shops. <laughs> um, I think I think it's time to accept it's probably been fobbed off in some little backhand shop somewhere. It's probably long gone. So let's head up towards Valencia. But you know, you'd kick yourself if you didn't try. Yeah, that's it. I feel like we felt like we're just on autopilot with my sister here. We obviously hadn't been out and about trying to do anything about it, so. I feel like we had to have one last ditch attempt at doing something ourselves. Good morning, team. Good morning. So, we're currently parked outside a climbing gym in Bilbao. We're getting the ferry to Ireland literally in like two hours mm -hmm. so we gotta make tracks yeah we've been pretty crap at recording stuff because um, we're still trying to process you know having everything stole from us so we've only got this we've only got a GoPro to left to record on so um, bear with us you know we're just we're, we're trying to get trying to get the flow yeah we thought we'd have like an awesome Spanish video to end off this trip, but that's just not happened, and that's just okay. You know, <laughs> we've just we've just had to accept it, guys. I'm sure you've accepted it, and you've been so good to us. So apologies, this hasn't been an epic Spanish adventure. We're sorry for ourselves and for everyone else. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, let's let's get the ferry. Let's get the ferry. Let's go back to Ireland, eh? <laughs> I don't know if I'm ready for that. I don't know if I am. <laughs> but let's get Martha MOT to friggin' get this girl back out. Yeah, I'm excited for that. Let's perk ourselves up. And Perked. Get on the road. This is home, sweet home. It's a nice big mirror. It's like a prison. That is not good. So this needs replaced. Yeah, I did this. She's fast. She's fast. Of course it's fast. They're shutting the door. <laughs> What's that mean? 